Hi everyone, this is Ryan with Rum River Wire Harris and I wanted to start doing a few kind of small easy training videos for you guys uh, so you can get the puppies started off uh, when you get them home. So we have Miss Misha here and she is actually nine weeks old today. Um, so table training would be your first step when you get a new puppy. So we'll kind of walk through that today. And this is something that you could start you know, as soon as you get the puppy home. Uh, so the main purpose of this is getting the dog used to being touched, um, teaching the dog that you're in charge. Um, so anything that I wanna do to you, you're gonna let me do, and I'm not gonna hurt you. Um, so as you can see, she's actually being very good today. And we have been doing this a few times here. So we started when she was about eight weeks old. Uh, so you wanna find a table or something high so you don't have to reach down. Uh, tailgate of a truck, uh, washer and dryer. So here we just have a folding table. And kind of what you wanna do is just lift up her le their leg and you wanna make sure that they surrender that to you fully. So if she's gonna fight it, we're gonna make sure that we're not gonna drop it. And the key when to this is they should give you their leg and not take it away like that. And we're gonna wait a little bit and we're not gonna wanna push it. So she's being good here. No, she's gonna fight a little bit. So she's fighting me a little bit, but not bad. Um, but you always wanna end on a positive here. So we're gonna let this go here a little bit until she gave it to me and we're gonna give it to her back. I mean, whenever you train, you always wanna keep it fun, right? So we're gonna play with one of her balls here a little bit, pet her up, make sure that this is enjoyable for her and for us. And then we're just gonna to move to the next foot. Again, did super good. So we'll give her that one back. Kind of love her up a little bit. Good girl, Misha. Yes. And now we'll move to the back feet. And this will go a long way when the dog gets older for cutting their nails. If you need, if they ever get a wound out hunting. And again, we've just been doing this for a week and she's just nine weeks old, uh, but you'll be surprised how fast this can really go. And you definitely want to keep up with it. So this is something that you should do every day. We'll, be, we'll call her good with that one. So we got one last leg to go here. You know, and for her age, I'm very happy with that. So I'll let her give that back. All right, good girl. Yes, all right. So one last thing that can go a long way to help taking their mouth away um, for the biting, if you're experiencing that, is we're actually gonna put our hand in her mouth here. And I'm just gonna barely set it in there. And if she's gonna clamp down on me, I'm gonna force my hand all the way back in her mouth, which they won't like. And if she's being good, we're gonna take our hand and just barely place it in her mouth. So again, this is teaching her I'm in charge. You're not allowed to bite. And I can do whatever I want to you. I'm not gonna hurt you. So she's wanting to bite down, so we're gonna go all the way back. And now she's let off. And she wants to bite down a little bit, so we're gonna go all the way back. Now come back out a little. And now she just has her mouth, you know, not biting down. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna say, good girl, Misha. 
All right. We'll try that one one more time. See, she's absolutely getting perfect. She's not clamping down at all. Which is exactly what we want to see. As they get a little older, you might have to go to rubber or uh, leather gloves. Um, if you do it from a young age, um, you should be all right. So she's doing absolutely perfect. So good girl, Misha. Um, so this would be the, the training table and the first steps when you're getting a new puppy home. Uh, a couple other little tidbits. Um, so if you're playing with toys with the puppy, never let it become a tug of war. So that is a very bad habit. Um, if you're gonna bird hunt the dog, um, so you're creating a little tug of war game and that's just gonna translate to going with the birds. Um, so never do that. Um, it, you know, make sure everyone in the family tries to stay consistent with that. Um, when you're playing fetch with the young dog, um, hopefully try to get them to bring that ball or toy back to you. Don't ever get into a chasing game because that'll translate over. As the puppies get older with the birds, I'll just have to break that habit. Um, so try to take all that into consideration. Um, so as Misha continues to grow here, we'll keep doing videos for you guys. Um, so we'll go into the command lead and different stuff like that. Again, this is Ryan with Rum River Wire Hairs. If anyone's looking for a pup, um, we definitely have some litters coming up this year. Thanks everyone.